Bay comes to us from Pyro Mythical. Hey Rick, check out Dr. Jake's very, very British reviews. He made a series of videos a while ago showing how much he makes from YouTube, and now he's set up a Patreon asking people to donate. If they do, they get videos early. This guy also, as far as I know, has a PhD. Why would anyone pay for early access to videos? Do people sit at their YouTube feed waiting with bated breath for the next riveting Dr. Jake video? Do they brag about it around the water cooler at work? Ha! You have to wait an extra day to see Dr. Jake's videos, you loser! From what I can tell, with his videos about how much money he makes, which was good and informative, YouTube featured it. Uh, then his subs exploded a bit, and to me, now he's thinking, holy crap, I could become a charity. So if you didn't know, Jordan Peterson, who is a fantastic speaker, psychologist, and just joy to listen to, has a Patreon. Last I heard, he pulls in about $64,000 a month. I don't have a problem with this, and why don't I? The difference between these beggars and Jordan Peterson is he is doing really meaningful work that is changing the world and people in it. He's reached out and influenced so many people and enlightened them to a different way of thinking. If anyone deserves money from Patreon, it's people that are actually doing something meaningful with it. Well, there's two parts to this comment, and the first part, I'll tell you, about Dr. Jake's Very British Reviews. Many people left me a link to that video, and I meant to speak on that video. I never got around to it. I think it's a really cool thing that he made that video being an op open and honest and telling people what he made on YouTube. That was a good thing. Um, but he also went to talk about what other people make on YouTube. So then you kind of like the wheel starts spinning in your head and you're like, oh, okay, you know, he's doing this. I mean, it's good he did it, but he's noticing that they're getting picked up in the YouTube algorithms. So now it's weird. He actually announced he has Patreon. Weird how that works. You know, he blows up. You know, he's getting a little bigger, and then he announces a Patreon. Uh, weird thing was, the weird thing is, this you say this guy has a PhD. You know, has a great job, making a good salary. That's good, fantastic. My thumbs are going up, way up to this guy, actually working for a living. Many of these YouTubers can actually take a page out of this book and go get themselves a job. Okay, so that's good. I'm happy he has a job. And that's good. He's had his success on YouTube. That's good. He has a job and he's making some ad revenue on YouTube. Fantastic. But he seems to be dipping his toes into the Patreon pond, dipping his toes into the Patreon pond. And he, he addressed it in his last video and he talked about Patreon people trolling him over the Patreon, right? I had an issue with this because the idea is he's setting aside and I'm sure there's maybe some people that have come by and may maybe been like a little hateful to him, you know, you know, right? So that's messed up if you're coming by being very hateful to him. But the thing is, he doesn't understand that he is open to criticism the minute, the minute he opens his Patreon. All right. He's open to criticism, especially in this case, when he says something along the lines of, oh, I don't want to give it away. No, pyramidical. I got a side one coming up, right? I might have a couple coming up. So I'm not going to give that away. I'll leave it right there. We're going to go on to part two. Okay, you realize, you realize why I left it right there and why I'm going to part two. You talk about Jordan Peterson, and I've taken this time to actually research a little bit of Jordan Peterson. I've listened to him. Um, you know, different people have different opinions on him. There was this one interview he had with Kathy Newman. I forgot what her name was. And he's very calm, very collected. And the thing is, they were talking about fair wage for women. And I had general ideas going into it, and I was pleasantly surprised <clears throat> because I read some things about him, and I read things about this interview. People try to frame things however they want to frame it, but I'm seeing a person, and she is just going at him. She is going at him. She's talking over him. She she has an agenda, an agenda basically to catch him, and it, at some points, she's putting words into his mouth. And she keeps hammering the same tire thing like, you know, women deserve equal wage, equal wage. Why aren't, why is there only seven of the 115, you know, CEOs, women? And he kind of breaks it down saying like, well, you know, in general, women have a lot, have a lot of other things that they focus on other just than just being like, you know, um, what was the word? More, more like assertive in the workplace. And that, you know, that's common sense. You know, think about going to work. Who tends to be more assertive and who's more focused on furthering their careers tends to be men, tends to be men. And it's a, it's a actual, it's actual fact 
a lot of people don't want to look at it, but it's actual fact that women are more nurturing. And when there's a, you know, when there's a little one that joins in this family, more often than not, I would say usually the, the man works and the woman stays at home, you know, and takes care of the kid. I know it's not always that way, but he's basically, it's just common sense, right? You know, he, he uses big fancy words sometimes, but you know, the way is it's kind of accessible for a lot of people, you know? Uh, and like I said, I don't agree with everything Jordan Peterson says. There's some really weird comments I've seen him say where he kind of trips over himself. And, you know, there's things I agree with and things I don't agree with. But in that particular interview, this woman is trying her hardest just to like, you know, and it's just kind of sad because he's like looking at her just smirking like, you know, I didn't say that. Like, really, I did not say that. I literally have never said that. So she's trying to, she knows she's losing the debate, but she, she needs to put words into his mouth. And I look at her and I'm like, man, somebody, somebody married that. Like, oh my goodness, could you freaking imagine? Um, but yeah, there, there, are, there are differences. What people don't seem to understand is there are actual differences biologically, physically. Uh, how, you know, there are differences between men and women in public and private. There are differences. Okay. And one thing Jordan Peterson brought up is, well, you know, I might talk about in the side. That's kind of fascinating to actually take maybe a debate point and actually go into it too. Now, what you just experienced pyramidical was something that I do is start conversations. People have come here and they say to me sometimes that I think some of your videos are meaningful. I think some of the things that you say are meaningful, right? But in no time, Pyro, do I think that just because I might be a little more meaningful than maybe a comparable other channel, that that there's things that I'm doing that are changing the world. There's things that I say that will change people's minds on things, okay? I don't think I deserve people's money. I don't think I need to hold my hand out for money on Patreon. You say Jordan Peterson is making it about $64,000 a month. Okay, he's smart, he's a psychologist, he's, I mean, for everything he is, he's just a talking head. There's many talking heads on YouTube. He's a talking head on YouTube, all right? I know you're not going to like to hear that. I know this person, like, he has this devoted following, okay? He has this devoted following. Uh, people have different schools of thought, but I I'm looking at it, and yeah, he's very intelligent, but there are certain things that he said at certain times where I'm like, and I, I don't, you know, I'm not a psychologist, you know, I don't have a fancy PhD, but I, I can actually, you know, as the destructor, the radical destructor, I could actually even destruct some things that he said before, you know, imagine that. But I don't think I'm special enough to be asking $64,000 from other people. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't, as a baseline, I don't think YouTubers, you know, ad revenue is the way that we make money. Ad revenue. I'm guessing, I'm willing to take a guess that Jordan Peterson makes ad revenue on his channel. I'm guessing. Many actually has a job making a lot of money. Again, great on them for having jobs. The the YouTube is an extra. Does this person really deserve $64,000 a month for giving his views and opinions? Does he? $64,000 a month? You know, you're okay with that? Yet, you know, you're not okay with other people doing you know, some can talk about things better. Some are better at it. Some, you know, but, but, but no, I, I think it's just the same as anyone else. You know, Jordan Peterson, you know, I, I just view him at the end of the day. If he's on the platform, you know, you might say he's, people have called him a prophet, a messiah, all this. But at the end of the day, he's a YouTuber who's open to criticism just like anybody else. And I'm pretty sure I'm fairly positive you know, I could actually watch some of his YouTube videos and actually pull apart some points and actually criticize them, even though I ain't no Jordan Peterson, okay? So, yeah, at the end of the day, me and Jordan, neither of us deserve money, and that $64,000 he's getting, that is much better suited to go to actual charities.